What's good, y'all? One more prediction for UFC 252. Miocic Cormier, uh, three. And I guess I want to start off by talking about the stats that the UFC have. It's kind of crazy. Um, got six five for Miocic, five eleven for Cormier. Pretty pretty accurate. 240 pounds for the weight on Miochik and still like 205 for Cormier. It's like, what? Like, you know, you could still have their weights. I understand if you couldn't put their weights in for for Friday after the weigh-ins, like right after, I understand. If you can't do that. But, you know, their weigh-in... Their weights for the last fight, you could at least have that on. Uh, I think Miochik was like 236 for the last one. And Cormier, he was like 242, something like that. Um, but, you know, as we know right now, Miochik's 236. And Cormier is, uh, no, Miochik's 233, Cormier's... 236 so definitely want definitely Miochik is looking to move around use his footwork more and not get into grappling exchanges as much he's gonna be you should expect him to be a little bit faster and rely on his footwork a little bit more Cormier being lighter uh Wants to be able to. Yeah, it seems like he doesn't want to be as plotty as he was in the last two matches, which, you know, that's a l partly his style anyway. Because of his years of training in striking, he's, it's, it's a part of how he moves. And I guess so that uh, the body shots won't be as much of his as a factor, but you look into the, the X's and O's of the match, you know, I, I don't, I don't know who's a favorite right now. I think Steve Bay is the favorite. I haven't looked at any betting odds for, for anything on this fight, but X's and O's wise, Steve Bay, he, he has a, you know, a better shot of winning this fight, especially after how the second fight went, because against Cormier, things that John Jones picked out and that Stipe picked out was that Cormier is vulnerable to strikes to leg, legs and body, body, particularly with the left side strikes, left hand, left leg, left knee, whatever. He's a, he's vulnerable to getting hit with those uh, with left side attacks, particularly to the body and legs. But, you know, what we what you can gather from the last two fights is Cormier is still a tough matchup for D or for uh Miochi. If he has Miocic standing still, he traps those hands. He traps those hands, and uh, Miocic's vulnerable. He's gonna get caught. Uh, Miocic's he he keeps his head on center line when he attacks with his hands, unless he's like attacking to the body. That left hook was beautiful to the body. So. But in the when he's when DC's playing that that game when he's got both your hands and then he just he punch, he pulls them apart punches over you know it's definitely going to be a factor and this is a close fight either one of these guys can win this fight either one of these guys obviously could finish each other because that's what happened in the last two fights so. Um, 
being the forward moving fighter on DC will be a huge factor for Miochi. The fact that he's lighter for this fight than he was in the last two, it seems like he doesn't he wants to rely more on his movement. Uh, but being in a smaller cage, 25 by 25, Miocic's best shot is uh, is probably, um, he's got to move forward. He's got to be the ring general. Like, in this fight, I think, especially with that octagon being so small, the ring general will have the biggest advantage in this fight. Hmm. Now it's got, you know, looking at this, and then in the second fight, in the first fight, Stipe was the ring general for the most part, and then in the second fight, DC was the ring general for the most part. Until Stipe, you know, and it's like in round three, Stipe started to, started to control the center of the octagon, which DC was getting tired at that point. They were both tired, real tired. But that's how those body shots, you know, came into play. Plus, Stipe in his corner made the adjustments. So, definitely you should expect, I think you should expect body kicks from a, from Yochi to that liver. And I think if DC's moving forward, you should probably expect, I would like to see leg kicks. Slow Miochi down. He's going to have to. He's going to have to slow him down. He's going to have to chop at those legs and keep Miochi behind, behind the black lines. Um... It's so hard to pick this fight. It's real hard. Either, like I said, either guy could win. I guess I'm gonna, for my prediction, is it, I'm gonna go with Miocic. I think it's easier to see what DC has problems with because two guys have two guys in three fights have shown the uh, the strategy to beat Daniel Cormier. John Jones twice, Stipe, I'm a, Stipe Miocic once. So I think him being lighter, the move, his movement and if he if he pulls the fight into those later rounds, DC starts to slow down then that left hook will be present there to the body, to the, you know, especially if he's investing into the body and the legs of uh, DC. Anyway, that's my prediction. Like I said, that fight can go either way. And I wouldn't be surprised whoever wins. I think it'll be a finish. Um, a little... For Miocic, I'd say, like, round four... TKO, TKO stoppage or something. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like the video, hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe. Got more, got more uh, content on the way. Definitely want to talk about what's going on in MMA in the MMA world. And uh, until next time, we'll see you.